we are creating a foundation. We're creating a pathway, um, especially for young people. And yes, maybe they'll become an actor or you know, get into arts as, as, a, as a profession, but it's more likely that they're going to look and discover and find their voice. The student matinee program has been at the Huntington since the Huntington began. We bring young people in to see the same production that adults see. Charlie Williams was 10 years older than me. One day Charlie said, August man, when you go to jail, call Al Lichtenstein. He's the best lawyer in Pittsburgh. The audience of high school students, they were great. There's learning that happens with them because they heard some things that they'd never heard before. You notice he didn't say if you go to jail. He said when you go to jail. Because being a young black man living in the hill... This kind of cultural exchange when these kids are this age, it's, it's important that they get some insight into something that they don't know about. Hello everybody, it's me again. Good to see you all. Now we'll be giving you a pre-show workshop about August Wilson's How I Learned What I Learned. So, can someone tell me how many plays did August Wilson write? Ten is correct. We have a pre-show workshop that we do in all of the schools before they come see the show. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to write a headline about yourself. A headline is something interesting about yourself. They get it, you know. Some folks don't really get how to integrate education and art. Seven guitars? Seven guitars? The Huntington folks they understand and know that. They integrate it into their programs. So what is autobiography? Yeah, exactly. So it's something that this uh, that person has written about their own life. Telling their about 4,000 students come into both theaters to see student matinees. What are it going to be? She thinks she won a ladybug, but I think that's stupid. Don't you think that's kind of stupid? I think she should get what she want to get. Well, Mark, can you talk a little bit about Malik in this play and about that sort of change in him from the beginning to the end? Sure. Um, uh, I think uh, with Malik, he... There's a post-show discussion woke, very woke with the actors. It hit me really hard. Like, I broke down, like, in tears. Like, just... Because, like, obviously her mother does love her. Because the way she felt when Anna gave her that hug. When we stay after and get to know the character and know how they develop their character and know how much effort they put into trying to be that character is just amazing. That's your mom and that's what you expect and that's what you see on TV and that's what you... and that's what you see. <laughs> but, it's, but it's like... you know that she loves you and it's like... I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you for being so brave and so honest, honestly, it's, thank you. I summon up Panofsky from his bed among the famous... When these kids master these poems, it spurs just those simple literacy skills that we want kids to have. Not because some teacher's telling them they ought to have it, but because they want to understand this poem. Is given a reason to move. To bring it to life, they start to acquire performance skills. They learn to present themselves. We dial our words. And those performance skills build self-confidence. Passing through the prism of all others. So it's that combination of literacy skills, creative thinking, and performance that enriches those students' lives and, I think, changes their lives. People often ask, why do we spend so much time trying to expand arts education? Shouldn't you be worried about math or science or uh, reading and writing? And those things are all important. But arts is one of the things that makes kids want to go to school. I ain't got nothing else to give. Six years ago, we joined the National August Wilson Monologue Competition. That involves an in-school residency program in 11 Boston public high schools. Don't seem like there's no middle ground. I look up, she tend They sent their theater artists into classrooms and then taught them about how to do monologues. So do you feel that? Yeah, go back, start in the same place, and then keep going. That was so good. You got a little sarcastic there, too. Keep going with it. Your instincts are, are really dead on. I'm through with 
babies. I ain't raising no more. And raising no grandkids. I'm looking out for Tony. I ain't raising no kids to have somebody shoot him. I don't know what you all think of yourself, but I think I'm supposed to have. Whatever it is. When you play another character, when you walk in someone else's shoes, even if it's a monologue, you are transformed. Look at this panel. Look at it. You will look at people differently. I don't understand what to do. How to be a mother. Don't you think I had dreams and hopes? The arts can't stay alive if the educational wing is weak. So, you know, you have to continue to prepare the next generation of young artists. You have to continue to prepare the next generation of audiences. You better watch a guy with slow jacks around. <laughs> they don't call it slow jack. What the Huntington is doing is creating a real community of young people who are all too often separate from literary arts, cultural activities. In doing that, I believe the Huntington is transforming lives.